I would love to hear your perspective, Your Majesty, on um, the whole issue with Iran. What should we be doing, if anything? Do you think the U.S. government is on the right track? Well, I, I, Global Zero, actually, mm -hmm. um, the, the, the the action plan and, and the, um, the 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 uh, uh, mission of, of, of Global Zero, the 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 um, movement that uh, I'm one of several founding leaders of that are former heads of state and defense ministers, military commanders, um, experts in, in this field, and architects of, of the nuclear programs in, in a variety of the nuclear states, um, has uh, the, the action plan s sets out a framework for a phased, verified um, elimination of nuclear weapons that is possible in decades, in two decades even. It lays out how that, how that might be achieved. What is important about that plan and why I'm using it to answer your question is that it holds uh, first the United States and Russia responsible for making uh, a, 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 another set of cuts after the, the START treaty, God willing, is ratified by, by the Congress. They move on to the next phase of cutting down to a thousand um, nuclear weapons each and then um, to bring in the rest of the nuclear states into multilateral negotiations to freeze their stockpiles and then together this this um, uh, all nuclear states should begin to to move towards zero in a way that no state is left vulnerable this is not a unilateral immediate mm -hmm. uh, de uh, destruction of anyone's stockpile the united states nor any other country will be left vulnerable and exposed. This is a, 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 collect, a framework for a collective movement in which there are no exceptions and no double standards. Mm -hmm. And when you have a framework, I believe, from my experience living and working in a range of conflict regions around the world, watching the psychology of, of, of um, leaders and of entire nations and, and communities, I if you apply disproportionate pressure or exceptional pressure on any state anyway. to and 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 do so by humiliating mm -hmm. and marginalizing any state you're far less likely to get mm -hmm. the response I think that we you're have to looking for credit president obama that the belligerence is not there engagement, and engagement dialogue, is there, dialogue and mutual is there. Respect. And respect this is yes. the way that you will achieve your objectives mm. and within an international framework in which everyone is moving in the same direction towards zero you'll have the greatest possible chance of of discouraging states mm. who really can't afford to put all this enormous amount of money into weapons when they should be looking mm. after their fundamental human security needs mm. of, of their peoples. But you will also create a framework in which states can be politically, economically, and culturally sanctioned. Um, and, and you will have a, 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 the international community behind that because this is a framework that applies to everyone mm. in a fair and balanced um, well. Jonathan, I know y I know you were in Iran recently, yes. and then before that you were in India as well. Yes. What was the reaction to what you had to say? Well, in, in India, I, I was at a, at a fairly small conference hosted by the Prime Minister, mm. and the Prime Minister of India publicly said at that that India would join in negotiating a nuclear weapons convention abolishing nuclear weapons universally. And yet I know, Lawrence, he was reluctant to meet you because we tried to yes, get that meeting, yes. remember? Yes, but, but we tried to get him on film. Yeah, he didn't want to go on film. And Why they haven't signed the Nuclear yeah. Non-Proliferation Treaty, no. nor has well. Pakistan or Israel. But, but I, 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 I didn't get to the but. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> but they will not live in a nuclear apartheid world hmm. right. where there's a si they are a sixth of the world's population and they, s they feel threatened by uh, by the 95 percent of the world's nuclear arsenals in the hands of Russia and the United States. But they are committed to a nuclear weapons free world, but they won't lead. Um, this is the point that Queen Noor articulated, that you have to have a uniform standard. Mm. Mm -hmm. Countries, to ask countries to cooperate on long-term environmental responsibility and forsake short-term economic benefits in a two-tiered security world where some countries say we have a right to threaten annihilation of everybody mm. on Monday we'll threaten you and then on Tuesday cooperate it's just not possible mm. the distortions of the media in the United States in in giving the people of America a clear picture of what the world looks like from say India where you're a sixth of the world's population and 
and the government is expected to say we will we will remain vulnerable while others have these weapons uh, is it, 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 Americans need to look at the world from a global perspective. What does it look like from the well, perspective? There? As somebody from India, I was deeply disappointed when India, you know, embarked on this program with all the things that they have to do. With, you know, forty percent of children going to bed hungry. Oh, it's insane. Mm -hmm.